Hey guys, want to see the fastest way to cut rotors to date? Check this out. This machine cuts in both directions. We're already set up. I want to do a rough cut, so I'm going to go over this pretty fast. This is the main thing that sets this upgrade, which is designed for your existing Amco. This isn't a new machine. This is the machine that's probably lying around the back of your shop. That's the machine everybody always wanted. This baby has always been a great machine. It's kind of dated. Stuff's getting too big for it. That's what this upgrade is about. This power feed right here is going to make your whole life so much simpler. It cuts in both directions. The smoke is from the daikin. Okay, that was a pretty fast, like, rough cut. Doesn't look too shabby to me. But here's where the difference comes in. I'm just going to hit it with some daikin so you can see. We'll go back in at a finished pace. This is where this machine is going to save you a bunch of time. If you have a rotor that's in pretty bad condition, but you'd like to save it because it's a pretty expensive rotor. Some of them are getting pretty pricey these days. Rather than spending the time wasting the time to go back and reset to make a second cut. We can just cut back and forth until we have a rotor that we like or we're below specs either one. But you, you're not wasting any more time doing stuff that hurts your arthritis and your tennis elbow and all these other aches and pains we all have on a cold morning. Being able to cut this in both directions there's no other machines out there that'll do it the nice thing is we already know what we had with the old-fashioned Amco machines they were great machines they lasted decades 50 60 some of these machines are like near 70 years old there's a bunch of my work on that are older than me those old ones work great in fact my favorite cutting machines out of all of them are the oldest AMCOs that have been upgraded over the years. The original ones that came out that were drum feed, yeah, they sold a kit to do the disc feed gearbox at one time. A lot of the, a lot of the machines were upgraded. Well, we're ready for another upgrade. And if, I, if I'm in charge, I want to do it with this kind of gearbox. This kind of power feed is just better just outperforms it in every way. It's got the variable speed we need for larger rotors. It feeds in both directions, which is a great time saver and saves on wear and tear on your guy. The other nice feature is I noticed that in the shops that have this, people don't walk away from the machine with the power feed running. They stay there, cut the rotor, because it's kind of fun to use the power feed. It makes it really easy. They get the rotors done, and then they get the heck out of Dodge, and they're off to finish the job. Whereas, if you have it like the old-fashioned setup where the automatic feed runs off the end, and you could, like, go for a smoke break or some stuff like that, um, with this, you don't really have time enough to go smoke a cigarette. I'm already done with two passes and just 
This is about five minutes into the video. And I'm almost done with two complete passes on a gigantic rotor. That rotor is almost 14 inches in diameter, by the way. This thing will make quick work of little tiny rotors so fast it's not even funny. It does everything you want it to do, you know, going forward as far as however big the rotors get, we have the variable speed. As far as uh, getting rotors on and off the machine faster, the smaller the rotor, the faster you can spin it and the more time you can save. Okay, that finish looks pretty darn awesome. You can't really tell the difference between the finish I get on a rotor going out or in. The finish looks pretty much the same. Uh, maybe if you got out a magnifying glass, you could notice that it was cut on the way in. But the finish came out pretty much identical in both directions. So you can make a f your rough cut on your way out. All right, you make your rough cut on your way out. And you cut a fine cut on the way back in. You eliminated the whole resetting the machine. All you had to do was reset your cut depth and then go back in nice and slow. And that right there is going to save everybody a minute or two on each rotor that they have to cut twice, which most rotors do need to be cut twice. Wants to make it straight and then wants to make a nice finished pass on it. Anyway, that's why I think everybody should be upgrading their old machines. We can upgrade this thing to handle some pretty impressive rotors and uh, going forward uh, the rotors aren't going to get any smaller is my guess the rotors are going to continue getting bigger along with the vehicle's performance you've got to match that with rotor size so going forward we just need more out of our emco machine we could just upgrade this baby and be happy with it for another 30 or 40 years because nobody's got anything that's going to do better than this. I haven't seen it. Anyway, we're at uh, handydandyupgrades.com. Uh, we love these old Amco brake lathe. We set you up. Uh, give us a call. Thanks.